Hey guys, welcome back. I realise it's been a while and it's almost Christmas, so I thought I'd get festive. In a recent blog post, I posted about the benefits of work journaling. Essentially, having a note-taking system for work to plan, to record knowledge, and to reflect on your day and your actions and your projects. And in today's video, I want to essentially take that knowledge and take you through my daily workflow with Remnote, kind of keeping this principle of work journaling in the back of our minds as we go through. So let's jump in. So let's dive into Remno and let's take you through my day. My day revolves around the daily document. Now in Remno, you can just create one of these pages by hovering over documents, the plus icon, and go to today's document. All that is, is a page where the title is, funnily enough, today's date. And in my day job, as an analytics engineer, we work in Agile. And one of the things that comes with working as in Agile is that you have daily stand-ups. Now, these are like 15-minute meetings where you just discuss what you achieved yesterday, what you intend to work on today, and if you have any challenges or things to escalate so that managers or your colleagues can support you on something. So every single day I get to my desk at nine and I'll spend five to 10 minutes planning out what I'll say to answer those three questions so that I'm prepared for the meeting. So to do this, I simply do a couple of things. To reference bits of knowledge, um, you can use square brackets. So I'll actually reference a concept called stand-up. And this way I be able, I'm able to get like a stream of notes related to my stand-ups by always referencing this. And then beneath that, I will put in my three questions and go about answering them. So I did X, today I did Y, no challenges today. And of course, as the meeting goes on, I will start taking notes about any other random things that come up. So uh, my boss said, think about A. I need to do Y. Okay, so that is like the rough structure, but for you budding programmers out there who like to automate things and save time, you'll notice that I'm gonna be writing this set of questions out every single day. Is there a way we can template or automate these questions being filled in? And the answer is yes. Um, this is actually something I learned from watching videos of another YouTuber called Red Gregory. And I'll just briefly take you through how I implement automating this. So I'll delete those. And to set up automating this kind of template, you need to do one quick thing, which is go to settings, editor options, and enable templates for knowledge and make sure that's activated. What that does is it enables us to go to the automatically add template page where you can fill in templates. So each parent bullet point represents a, a template for knowledge. So what I'll do is say daily stand-up questions. And then beneath it, I'll have the three questions. So yesterday, today, challenges. Now to make this a template, you say you'll tag the parent as automatically as template and then with the bullet points beneath it, if you want them to always appear, you turn them into slots. Essentially meaning that these will slot in whenever you reference daily stand-up questions, right? So now that that is in place, I should be able to go back to my today's document. And instead of typing all that out, I say hashtag, hashtag. And they appear. And then as so, I'll say I did X and so on. Now that saves a lot of time and makes me really prepared for my daily standard meetings. Now the second thing that is core to my day, and I'm sure everyone else's is you will spend most of your time working on a project, um, an issue, a task, and you'll, I will basically approach this by taking notes as I'm going through essentially journaling my work, as I've said before. So some people at this stage might um, just dive into doing whatever they have to do. Other people might be really, really organized and say, right, I'm gonna 
It starts taking me on notes, so I need to set up a page. I need to set up a folder structure and all that. I kind of go for the middle point and I say, I stay in my daily document and let's say it's a project to make a budget. I don't go to other folders, like that's extra friction to me starting the project. So I just say project to make budget. And I might start just doing a natural bit of planning. So I'll say, I need to account for Mary's expenses. I need to account for my computer. I need to get a forecast. And so you might just start planning the things you need to do just to structure your notes. And then, you know, depending on how organized and much planning you actually need to do, at this stage, you might say, right, I'm going to start working. So you'd probably take each bullet point in turn and say, okay, I spoke to Mary. She said it is 500 pounds. You know, I'm just making complete gibberish up here, but I hope you get the picture of it. By taking these notes, you're naturally forcing yourself to plan. But secondly, also kind of keeping a record of knowledge of, you know, meetings you had with Mary or facts that were stated about um, the computer is a Apple Mac. It's a perfect way of building your knowledge and having a place to reflect, to plan, to record knowledge. So when I, when I eventually will flesh this out, and I'll come to the end of the day. At that point, I might then spend a small bit of admin time cleaning this up. So what I'll actually do is take the parent and I'll say, move it or set it to a new parent of which I have a folder called projects. So what I've just done there is taken all the notes I've taken today in my daily document and moved them under this folder of projects. And you'll see here, project to make budget is now within that page. But the nice thing about move is that, yes, it's moved it there, but you can still see it within your daily document as a record of what did I achieve that day? What did I work on? And the way it's achieving that is using a functionality that it calls portals. It's like a window into an, another page's notes, but you, you know, that window stays in your daily document. And so that's why I say my entire day revolves around the daily document even though the notes might be moving all over the place and I'm referencing things, those benefits come in later. All I have to do is focus on one single page. And I think I quite like that single stream of consciousness and, and, and it saves you from, you know, context switching, you know, just switching pages can be quite taxing for your mind. So I'll do similar things with meetings like, like for example, with my manager, I have a weekly meeting. Um, they're called 1010s. And I will document questions and pieces of feedback and whatever. And I'll put them in my daily document, but then move it to a folder for 1010s and career conversations. Um, so I won't go through because the process is exactly the same. The final thing is more focused on saving down bits of knowledge. Now, I've gone through this in a previous video, so I'll link that above now. But essentially, as a programmer, I'm constantly learning bits of code. I want to reference snippets. I want to reference theories and concepts. And so if you'll see in that previous video that I've linked, how I kind of structure saving bits of code. So for Git, it looks a bit like this and so on. Okay, so thanks for watching. That was a really quick overview of how I'm using RemNote as a work journal in my day job, you know, to answer questions for meetings, to record my knowledge of projects and things I'm working on, and also things that I'm learning, such as bits of code. Hopefully you can take that and apply it in your own day job or your life as a student or whatever it may be. And if you do have tips for me or you have your own way of using RemNote, I'd love to hear it down below in the comments. And as always, if you found value out of this video and really enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. I'm constantly looking to make more content around this kind of stuff, so please stick around. And finally, if you haven't seen it already, I have a video on learning code with RemNote that is really good. And here's another one recommended for you. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a lovely Christmas.